Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Tammy and I am here to do a postpartum video for you guys. I will do another video for labor and de delivery, um, but um, for now I just wanted to come here and quickly do an update for what's going on with me and the baby. So, um, uh, my baby was born on the June uh, on June 10th, um, early in the morning, uh, 3.52 a.m. and uh, she was 7 pounds, 7 ounces and uh, 20 inches long and she was born all natural ways <laughs> possible all naturally no drugs um, and I did my VBAC too so that said I will do another video for that uh, but for now I just wanna fill you in of uh, how we're doing um, we got discharged the next day uh, which is which was like 38 hours later and we came home uh, but the next day she gave me a fright uh, we just had a freaky time like because she woke up with a bloody mouth and I was just in a panic what's going on with her and um, so I took her to ER without calling the pediatrician because you know you panic something count coming out of your baby's mouth and it's not food uh, so I took her to ER check what's going on I was crying I was so devastated like what's happening you know and they checked everything was normal they said it might be that she swallowed some of my blood from the womb um, on the way out but um, and also they asked me if I have cracked or um, bloody nipples but at the time I didn't know so we figured out later on that uh, it was my breast bleeding and cracking so when she was swallowing through the milk it was she was sp spit out blood so phew that was close <laughs> it was I was in so much panic um, so um Right now I'm okay, we are breastfeeding and uh, she has a uh, slight jaundice and uh, I'm keeping her near the sun and stuff but it still seems not to go away so um, the pediatrician recommends to go do another blood test but stop breastfeeding to see if it's a breast milk um, jaundice or whatever and uh, I haven't done that yet. Um, I did buy a breast pump manual one because I don't need to pump it all the time and um, I also bought a formula, but she doesn't seem to like, uh, you know, bottles or nipples or passes or anything. So I don't know how that's going to work. But I will still take her to do a blood test for bilirubin and to see what's going on. Um, if it dropped down or uh, if she's going to need um, the light therapy or I don't know what it's called. So um, she's okay. She's nursing. She sleeps like um, crazy. She's a cranky baby. Uh, she's not like Allison. Um, uh, after feeding she's getting so gassy I have to burp her and then um, she continues nursing and sometimes she doesn't even want to nurse after that because she's she knows that she's gonna get gassy uh, she's not a good ledger like <laughs> she would open her mouth like this and she, she's not opening her mouth completely to latch on um, properly and she gets so much gas and air bubbles so she gets fussy the minute like she starts uh, nursing and I burp her and then I put her to bed and she still gets gassy so she does um, she's a little high maintenance I would say but uh, she sleeps okay sometimes we're co-sleeping sometimes she sleeps in her own uh, pack and play and um, sometimes she's sleeping in a rocker uh, yeah but uh, during the day she sleeps pretty good during the night she opens her eyes she's like um, uh, as she used to be in my womb uh, she would sleep during the day and wake up during the night when I was gonna sleep and she's still the same. Um, she was born uh, with a head full of hair all over like, and her head shape was pretty cute. Um, her This part, the brain part, um, is not as open as my other kids one because at my um, Allison's and Amy's I would see the pumping going on here. But um, she doesn't ha it doesn't show on her head all that much and uh, she's so red like super red uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna go away or she's gonna stay like that but uh, my firstborn uh, Amy was uh, a little red but when we washed her she was okay I mean she came to uh, 10 color um, uh, and she's still a like, 10 color um, but this one she's still red I'm washing her she loves bath, bath times uh, bath times are her favorite like I would put her and she's cool she's awesome like uh, she you know splashes in the water with her leg and it's really cute but um, I don't wash her every day yet but um, once uh, she's um, out of her 40 days um, 
I'm gonna wash her every day. She loves water. Um, what else? Oh, her belly button dropped the fifth day completely, but uh, she had rawness going on in her belly button, like it was red and uh, there was some gunk around it. So her pediatrician um, wrote some prescription. It's called um, antibacterial cream, kind of something. Back to cream? I don't know what's it called. But you apply it like three times a day for five days, um, a little bit like pea size, and it's uh, the third day I'm putting it, and it's pretty good. Um, her belly button seems to be fine. Uh, she wasn't uh, peeing or pooing uh, in the first couple of days that much because she wasn't nursing that much. But um, right now it's going good. Um, she's uh, peeing and pooing a lot, and she would poo, poo um, mostly when I open her diaper and bring her little booty up a little, so she shoots it out <laughs> and gets all the gas out. But uh, I do the same thing with a diaper on and she doesn't do that, but once her um, diaper is off and I lift her legs up, uh, she goes crazy. <laughs> um, what else? What else, buddy? What else? She's nursing right now and uh, my nipples are still sore, but it's not as bad as the first week. So um, the first weeks of breastfeeding are always a challenge and if you can handle the first week, uh, you're good to go. So. Um, we did buy a uh, Nuki Sudi pacifiers, but um, she doesn't seem to like it because she doesn't open her mouth, so she goes like, and she pushes it out. Uh, so she's not much of a pessy child. But I don't, I don't know what else to calm her down except like we pick her up on our shoulder and put her on her shoulder, and she's fine. So I'm, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna end up buying the Mobi wrap, but it's so extremely hot that. Only you can use it inside, I think, when the ACs are on, but else outdoors it's just not going to be possible because it's super hot. Okay, what else? Uh, I wake up like uh, every one hour all night and in the morning I just have my sleep from um, like 9 o'clock to 10.30, 11 o'clock. That's my um, sleep hour. Uh, as for me, I'm pretty good. I'm uh, I was 151 before um, during pregnancy, and now after pregnancy, I was um, 134. Right now, I'm 131. And she's freaking out because she doesn't breathe when she's nursing. She holds it in her mouth, all the milk, and then gulps it, and then she freaks out when she cannot breathe. Um, what else? Uh, so my belly is going down pretty good, but I'm not satisfied because it's kind of getting like muscly and it's hard. Um, but um, I think uh, I was wearing the belly band for a while and uh, like uh, for seven days nonstop, only taking off when I was showering and then putting it back on. But um, right now I'm not wearing it because it's so hot and makes me itchy and it makes me sweaty and I hate it. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, yeah, the girls cope with her so cute. There's, she's like their baby doll sister, and they're like, "Oh, mommy, so cute!" And I was uh, freaking out of that Allison, my middle one. Um, is not gonna handle her. But uh, to be honest, my oldest one is more of a like she wants to be involved more. Yes, Missy, need to burp. Here's my Missy. Okay, her name we decided. Um. We were originally gonna name her Adriana um, Sima or Adriana Mina, and uh, when she was born, it just uh, didn't click right to me. And the last weeks, I was not sure; I was hesitant to name her or not name her that. So when she was born, I was like, "No, we, we gotta come up with some other name." So um, Melissa, she, because she cut the cord and she was there the whole time. She, see, she burned by herself. Uh, she was like, let's name her Sophie or Sophia or something. And I was like, okay. And then we came up with the name um, Sophia with the F, S O F I A. And then we had to like name her a second name, like a Turkish name. So I was like, how about Lara? So uh, Sophia means um, wisdom and Lara means water fairy. Um, so she's a little wise water fairy. And uh, so her name is Sophia Lara, my little Missy, Miss Ready. Ah, uh, she's knocked out. <laughs> my nursing makes her drugged. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, so yeah, that's uh, I think about it. Um, I am taking my vitamins still, and oh my gosh, she doesn't take vitamins because doctor said that she doesn't need it. 
um, they pushed the hepatitis B on me a lot, so I was I just gave in. I was like, okay, just go ahead and do it. And uh, what else? Um, so she got her shots. Um, we cut her cord when the pulsation pulsation of the cord was stopped, and also her vitamin K's um, were postponed up until one hour. She was in the nursery. It was good. She was put on my belly right away. I know what she's doing. I don't know. Look how red she is, guys. <laughs> she's super red. Super red. Hey, you, super red. Okay, let's just fix your shirt. One second. Okay, hang on a second. Okay. Okay. Sophie. Sophie, say hi. Sophie, Sophie. Hi, Sophie, Sophie. Where's you two people? They want to see ya. They want to see how cute you are. Say hi, YouTube. She does smile, and sometimes in her sleep she will giggle. Like, <laughs> and also, um, she gets hiccups a lot. Um, she's so hiccupy and gassy and cranky baby. But overall, she's my kitty boy. I love her so much. Look at her smiling. Look at her smiling. She loves smiling a lot in her sleep. And uh, she doesn't do eye contact that much, but um, uh, with her sister she's do doing uh, eye contact a lot. Um, she loves going on the chest and she falls asleep right away. And also, um, she wants to be as close to me as possible. I don't know what. Is it associated with the vaginal birth or... I don't know, it's just her like that. Body. <gasps> My body. My body, body, body. Okay, I don't know how to hold you. So you will be comfortable and... and won't break you. She curves her back so crazy. I am so scared to hold her. Let's see if we can hold you like this and show you. Say hi. Say hi, Peanut. Say hi. My mommy's number three. Love. Mommy loves me very, very much. Mommy did her V back, and I'm very proud. You did such an awesome job coming out of that canal, huh? And I just still cannot believe that I pushed her out. This is a goodie bus. <laughs> hey, Sophie. Hey, Sophie, you ready to sleep, my sweetie? Sophie. Look how hairy she is. She's very hairy. She has dark hair. I don't know if that will get lighter, but she has dark hair. Her chin is like curved like... Mm, <laughs> and then she has hair on her legs, on her back. She's hairy. She's super hairy. Right, baby girl? What else can I fill you guys in? Um. Okay, you go to sleep. What else you guys can fill you in? So. Um, I already made an appointment for my six week checkup. Um, I am gonna go to the hospital and also my to my midwife, we wife, <laughs> to my midwife, and uh, uh, I don't know what else to say because I didn't take notes with this one, but um, so yeah, guys, um, the weather is really hot and I don't want to crank up the AC too high. Because she's still vanilla baked. Uh, we did take her to the beach once. And it was so nice. She liked it. She was sleeping. And she likes her car seat. I am so happy I bought that car seat with the stroller. Uh, Britex Be Agile. Traveling system. It's awesome. I would recommend it highly. Um, everything else. Uh, she doesn't need a high chair yet. And uh, all those things I'm going to buy later on. But... Um, we did buy a swing and I returned it because I didn't like it because of the lamp for it was so hot and it was just not for this weather at all. So I returned that. I'm going to buy another one or not maybe. I don't know. Anyway guys, so if you have any questions, I will be posting a labor and delivery video after this one. And so stay tuned and stay awesome. And whoever gave birth recently, congratulations ladies. And I love you very much. And my fussy fuss is fussy fussing over there. I'm gonna... Oh! Uh, because before I was going to yoga classes, so I did uh, sign up for a free portrait thing. 
you know, as a like a randomly you pick up and they, they announce the winner. So they call me. They're like, "Yeah, you know, you're a winner." I was like, "Woo! I never win anything." So uh, they, uh, the lady came in and we did a little newborn uh, photography session. Um, I only uh, get one eight by ten and a free sitting um, with no charge. But if the package turns out good, so I will purchase that. She was so cute in her, you know, little tutus and stuff. So I don't know how it turned out. They they called today and they said it's ready. Um, so we will be checking it on Tuesday for that. Um, yeah, Amy and Ellie are fine with her. It's completely like uh, Allison's like turned three. Um, Allison's birthday is like one day after uh, Sophie's birthday, so they're like back to back birthdays. So I'm gonna have to like organize birthday party when they're older, like maybe in one day. I don't know. It's just so crazy because she was born on 10th and Allison was born on 11th. It's just so crazy, both of them. <sighs> My girls, my princesses. Anyway, guys, um, if you have, you know, any ideas for videos, post it below. Uh, I and mean, we're working for on some new material right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just rambling right now. Sorry. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm wearing a dress. If you guys want to see the belly, but um, how much it went down. But um, this is what it is. It says 20 day postpartum, Ellie. Um, I, I really don't know if you can see it. Hang on. So, let's see, like that. So, I'm wearing this, and uh, it's kind of a little poofy, but um, nothing major. With my other pregnancies, my belly went down even late, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very bouncy. <clears throat> yeah, so um, that's my postpartum video, and I love you all, and take care, and stay awesome, and I will make another video right now. We're labor and delivery.